singing together opens your heart, it stimulates your brain, and it brings you closer to other people. It opens your heart to their humanity, and I think it makes us all better humans. Border Crossing is an umbrella choir based in the Twin Cities. This grant funded a partnership that we had with four different elementary schools in town. We're a program that brings together newcomer, refugee, and indigenous youth to teach indigenous culture um, from indigenous leaders to the youth. Um, they're hand drumming and singing and connecting cross-culturally. <laughs> We recognized there was no music program, and so that's what this grant was about, was could we bring a music program to the school for the mothers, the teachers, and the babies. It's a program where the moms and the babies can go to school at the same site. The babies smile, the mom loves it. They get to pick up the child from the child care and bring them into the parenting room. When we saw the possibilities of this grant, we thought, is there a way we can get these composers to come into schools and to bring not only their music, but music of their cultural background? Our project was to bring in culture-bearing singing masters to work with elementary school students in grades three through five. Sing on, sing on. We received a uh, partnership grant um, from Chorus America to provide additional chorus opportunities to our students after school. We wanted to provide a choir to our students in our K-8 um, elementary school district. We run school partnership programs in schools where there's not a choral program. We also launched a very exciting collaboration with the Tahona Adam Nation, which is one of the indigenous nations in Tucson. We are the only music program on the Tahona Adam Nation. Chorus of America has helped to fund our Roots of Music program, known as ROMP. And this is a music foundation that brings this opportunity to third and fourth grade students. The majority of our students are from the Latinx community. They get so excited because they have this culturally relevant moment of getting to see music that represents a lot of their cultures. A lot more, feel more connected to their family and their traditions and they're wanting to know more about where they came from. So because of our program, we are able to harness that and mm -hmm. give them that little spark. We have, because of this project, started both a children's and a youth choir. Children are now singing these songs from other cultures and playing the games that they learned on the playground in like a completely organic way. The students had a place to belong and um, you know, they were excited about every Wednesday, yay, we have, you know, we have chorus, I'm in a chorus group, I'm going to perform. One of the students looked around at her friends and said, I'm going to get his autograph. And all the other kids said, I'm going to get his autograph. To see these students have an idea that they could have that creativity themselves, it's not some genius thing that you're born with. Everybody can do that. We have an educational program that is ours, that is run with our mission, that targets the neighborhoods that we work in. This grant allowed us to purchase instruments, allowed us to bring guest artists, allowed us to organize concerts. They're connecting to indigenous drumming and singing, and they're linking it to their own experience. And you see and you feel the connection that people have. I'm seeing people beginning to sing and, and make beautiful sounds together. We're gonna have graduation, and the whole school has been invited to sing Count On Me, Whitney Houston style. And this has never happened in 13 years I've been there, to have someone that's graduating to actually be singing in a choir and performing at graduation. It was so impactful to bring in these artists from various cultures and the fact that they would remember a phrase in Ukrainian for like months. 
signals to me that it has made an impact on their life and it's uh, something they'll remember for the rest of their lives. A lot of our students have been struggling with mental health issues. Some of them have been struggling with uh, drug use. And now I see a smile on their faces and see that they have hope. Every single thing we do at one school, we've been able to take elsewhere. The sheet music that we created for that curriculum, the teaching videos, the instruments, the performances, other teachers are hearing about it and taking it and using it in their own classrooms. They're sharing with each other about their identity, their family identity, their cultural identity. What it's bringing forth is a level of comfort with each other and familiarity with each other that they haven't experienced in their choir class. We were able to have our composers in 11 different schools and reach over a thousand students. Having funding to be able to bring that back for students creates the kind of community that we need so much. That shift that you get to see and their eyes just brighten up because they're like, whoa! You know, they kind of like sit up a little bit more and they get that posture and they're like, I know this song, I've heard it before. But having the conversation of the meaning of it was very powerful. Supporting the arts in schools is essential. It is the thing that will have the most impact on our society in the future. Everything that we're able to do to help kids of all ages to make music together with each other is such a beautiful opportunity for growth for their humanity to grow up and be better humans.